This time on Q School, we're going to show you something that they said couldn't be done. On our travels across the country, chefs one after another have said, souffle on a barbecue? No way. The way. We're going to start out, we're going to heat up saucepan. We're going to put in some cream. We're going to add some sugar. We're going to stir this. You stir this until the sugar is completely dissolved. Then we're going to add some white chocolate. And again, we're going to stir this until it melts. You don't want to boil the mixture. We're going to add three egg yolks. We're going to add the orange. Oh, the smell is already starting to get to us here. It's starting to get thick. You can't stop. While I'm stirring, I'm going to show you the ramekins that we've buttered and sugared all the way. We put butter in the bottom, all around the sides, and put sugar and roll it around. We've tied an aluminum collar on it to help the egg whites rise up. When they rise up in the souffle, they need something to grip onto. That way it'll come up over the top of the souffle dish. I'm just continuing to stir to let this cool down just a little bit. Because you don't want it uh, too hot because it'll curdle the eggs, egg whites. Now, we're going to put some more white chocolate. But we're not going to melt this, we're just going to get it started. Now we're going to fold in the egg whites. We're going to fold in a couple and mix it up. But mix gently. You don't want to destroy the bubbles in the egg whites. Now we're going to add some more. The smell of this is awesome. I'm going to pour in the Grand Marnier. Keep mixing. Again, gentle. Gentle is the byword here. I'm going to add the rest of the egg whites. Now we're going to pour these into our ramekins. Try and pour four equal amounts. Let's see how good I get on the first pour. And I'll tell you, the smell of the Grand Marnier is incredible. We have the barbecue heating up. We're going to put these in the middle over the middle burners, which are turned off. The outside burners are turned on high. We want about temperature of about 350 degrees. Just let it sit for a second. Now these are going to cook for about 30 minutes. But you got to watch them close because every barbecue is a different temperature. The ambient temperature outside affects it. You don't want it too hot. So I would check every maybe 10, 15 minutes to see. And when they puff up to the top and are brown, they're ready. Now we've checked these a couple of times. And actually, the, the timing today is about 20 minutes. These are ready. so we're And when you do, lift the lid very carefully and don't slam it. Here you go, the impossible barbecued souffles. To learn more about Barbecue America or to find Rick's recipes, visit our website at barbecueamerica.com.